Hi, I'm Julianne Hartman, and this is my husband, Butch Hartman, and we are co-hosting the show today of Heart to Heart. Hey, everybody. I have with me two of my favorite men. First of all, my husband, and as you guys recognize, Pastor Burns. Thank you so much, Pastor Burns, for Thank coming for on the show. Me. Yes, and you know, it's Pastor Gilbert Burns. That's yes. right. So he does Gilbert. have a first his. his <laughs> I know. Pastor's not his first name. It's Gilbert <laughs> Burns. Used to be Gilbert. Yeah, right. From the Santa Clarita Christian Center here in yes. Santa right. here in yeah. Santa Clarita, California. It's a yes. lot of C's. Yes, it is. Yes, and as a matter of fact, um, they are moving into a new building. That means more people, and I think we're going to do a show where we're going to show you a new building. Okay. So anybody's in the neighborhood. So clean uh, it up. Yeah. We will make sure of it. Make it no, clean. No, I know that it's getting painted. Out of there. Hey, and, no problem. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, and yes. so, and I know you've got kids programs, and you've got everything. Yes, we do. Yes. And so, yes, so you wow. are a blessing yeah. to Santa Clarita. But today... What kind of kids programs? Uh, sort of with puppet shows and all. Are there lollipops and stuff? I if love puppets. If you want, you know, we'll have one just for you. I am oh my so gosh. there. All right, good. I just okay. want to make sure. Well, we okay. want to get to the meat of this. Yes. Okay, so yeah. today is about miracles, signs, and wonders. And Pastor Burns, this is something that, um, you know, you hear different ministries from, whether it's TV, you know, on, on watching TV or mm-hmm. going to different churches. It's about miracles, you know. What is a miracle, and how everybody's a different interpretation? And I, you know, I, I, I trust in your teaching, and I trust in your doctrine, mm-hmm. and I, because it all comes from here. Mm-hmm. It's not pastor's opinion; it's right. what you know from this. So, you know, pastor, what, what can you define a miracle? Because people kind of, well, real quick, because people tend to throw that word around a lot. Yes, you know, the miracle met, or it's a miracle, it's a Christmas miracle, and all that. Right. So people have kind of lost. I think, sense of what that word even means or where it even came from. Right. Well, based on what the word miracle means, is something Mm -hmm. that's beyond the natural. Right. So that's like the normal understanding of it. But when you think of what's supposed to be the norm, faith, faith is a lifestyle, and whatever is done by faith results in what we know as a miracle because it's not a natural event. It's Mm -hmm. a supernatural event. So like Jesus, okay. Jesus turning water into wine is considered his first miracle. That was his, one of his first miracles. And then his, if you think about right. that, it is a miracle. It taking a miracle. taking water, yes. And making I think chemically, if you broke it down, yeah. wine's probably the exact opposite chemical structure yeah, of you're water. Right. You exactly. probably get yes. water out of wine before you get wine. Out, well, you can't make you, water well, you can't make. We make wine with water. We take right. grapes right. with water. But right. Jesus just like said the word and it and turned it into became, wine. Yes. So that's exactly. and then then he walked. Then he actually walked on the water. Right. Exactly. Yeah, what if he could walk on wine? I bet he could. He could but, walk on anything. <laughs> he could walk on anything. <laughs> he chose to. He's right. Jesus. <laughs> but that's, that's, that, is, that, to me, is a miracle when the supernatural laws are changed or bent exactly. in a way that we could never do. And that's what, that's what normally is classified as a miracle. Right. But the thing is, is that we're supposed to live naturally by faith. And that's where, the, where it differentiates. We just can't expect miracles every single minute of our lives. Well, it's not that we should not expect a miracle. We know that miracles are necessary. Mm-hmm. But if you're living your life in, in line with what the Word of God says, right. it really it's not actually a miracle. It's just your lifestyle. It's what you do. It's oh, what okay. should be happening anyway. So it's not, it's, you don't need a miracle because you're living by faith. And so by living right. by faith, those everyday things... Are going to come about so you're not exactly. going I need it you go from miracle to miracle to miracle to miracle I mean starting right. my car the next morning should not be a miracle it's really by faith because we yes. don't know if your car will start or well, not when you read the different accounts of miracles it was to convince people to believe and that's really the intent of a so miracle. non-believers to believe yes exactly there are many there been, I'm sorry, there are many times where um since I've been uh, walking with Christ and then been a Christian and I learned about how to walk by faith where I've been sick and I'll confess myself well. I'll say I'm yes. well, I'm not sick. And I'll get healed the next day. Right. That could be considered a miracle by many people. Right. But like you said, if you're living in that word and, yes. you're, just, and you're that's activating it, and it's just normal mm-hmm. for you. The supernatural is natural. There you go. Good. I like Should that. Should be. I like yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know what? And it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. No, and, but it's people not. don't really teach that because, I mean, and, and you don't need, I don't think you even have to be in a faith-taught uh, church. Mm-hmm. To know that, but if you do live by faith every day, you don't have to call for these miracles. I think I was, I, and I will say, it's almost been not like a stronghold with me. It's like, what exactly is a miracle? Because mm-hmm. sometimes I feel like the word just gets kind of, it's just used too loosely. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, so I'm glad that you've really. Well, that based on what the definition is for miracle, where well, there's mm-hmm. two definitions. One of them is power of performing miracles, strength, power, and ability, which is dunamis. Mm-hmm. The other one is uh, the Greek simeon. A sign mark token. So it says that by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others and is known unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. And I really like that factor 
it transcends the common course of nature, what is right. like the water and the wine. Okay. Right, right, right. So it went beyond the natural into what is supernatural. The supernatural. But for our lives, it should be natural for us to live by faith, and thus others looking at our lives say there's something supernatural about that person. Mm -hmm. There is a power that comes through them. Yeah, like the the, the, the blessings okay. as Christians, blessings should follow us around. Exactly. And yeah. people who aren't Christians who aren't yes. saved, they'll say like, "Wow, that's so miraculous! All these great things happened to him or her." Right. right. It's right. really not that hard. It's really not even that hard. You just follow. You do what God tells you to do. Yes. You don't go into those places you're not supposed to go into. You don't hang out with those people you're not supposed to hang out with. You right. get more focused on the Word. Your life becomes more focused, and blessings follow you. It's sure. like it's and, like a yes. rule. But it also too, what happens is that you know stress comes into people's lives, mm -hmm. fear comes into people's mm -hmm. lives, and that's when it wreaks havoc in your body. Right. And what I've learned is that you know when when you have a stressful situation and you have let's say a lot of fear, mm -hmm. you release these really bad toxic hormones sure. which go into your body and start wreaking havoc in your body and then that's how yes. sickness and disease comes and we then were, you go yeah i need a miracle right we right? weren't born out of the mother's our mother's womb with sickness no nothing no worry stress nothing true we learned that yeah and that's we adapted some of those things is this that, my mom's fault <laughs> I blame no. everything on her mom already. Well, so. you know, when your mother's free because we have Ezekiel 18 where it refers that the sins of the father are on the fathers and the sins of the sons are on the sons. So oh, we're responsible Ezekiel 18. Oh. It's always Ezekiel 18. <laughs> so we cannot blame our parents for everything. Man, okay. All right, so Pastor, what about signs and wonders? Well, so kind of go into that. Well, signs and wonders are basically in the same category. Mm. So if you think of miracles, it has to be a, something that you see. So, such as oh, okay. the parting of the of the Red Sea, or Jesus with the loaves and the fishes when he had like only exactly. he had five loaves and right. a couple little fish and, and fed, fed five thousand five thousand people. people. Yeah, plus and, their wives and children, and their wives and children. On top of that, so yeah. you have you see you see something, and it's a it's a sign. And back then they couldn't be saved because Jesus hadn't died yet. Right. right. So they needed something to see, and that's what they were used to all right. their lives from from the from the beginning mm -hmm. from the Exodus. They saw all these miracles took place. And those miracles were causing them to continue believing. You okay. know, uh, we we had a um, a situation. We had gone to Guatemala with our foundation. We have a foundation called Hartman House. Yes, look it up. We uh, <laughs> but we went to Guatemala down there to build some houses and um, very poor area where we were, and we were giving out clothes, we we're giving out food and things like that. And this whole neighborhood had come around us. There were like hundreds of people there to get clothes and food and things. Yes. And um, we brought supplies. We ran out of food. We ran out of food and things like that. And suddenly. It was it was interesting. This ice cream man shows up. Like mm -hmm. the, this is Guatemala, middle of the mountains. Yes. This man shows up with a little ice cream cart, and it was probably about as big as this table ice yes. cream cart. And um, we said, okay, look, we'll buy the kids all ice cream. Yes. Right. I think it was at twenty five cents a piece, whatever. We'll just, right. we'll just pay for it. And um, we had the money to buy the ice cream, but he was running out of ice cream, and there were kids with their hands out like this. Yes. And oh, we kept looking in the ice cream thing, going, "There's no ice cream left." But this man, <laughs> this man, I swear to you. Kept reaching into his into his ice cream with a scoop, yes. and kept giving kids ice cream until every kid got ice cream. Amazing. But and and honestly, I, yeah. he, he wasn't was, in there. His man, yes. this man was out of ice cream, wow. and he kept reaching in and pulling out ice cream. And kids had their hands like this; a little scoop would go in their hand. Wow. And um, we didn't really think about it at the time because it was such a mob scene. Yes. But afterwards, we went, "Where did that guy get all that ice cream yes. from?" Yeah. It was like a magic trick, yes. and it wasn't a magic trick. I really truly believe that we experienced a miracle that day. I believe that too. Yeah. So yes. that was that was really kind of neat. Yes. Kind of you know, neat. It was amazing. I, it was, I mean, it yes. was, we don't want to use the word amazing, but it was yes, truly, truly astounding. Yes. It really, really was. It was a um, sign. It I was, was watching sign. on Oprah yeah. the other day about a show where a lady and her mother were driving in a car in a minivan. They had three babies in the back, two girls and a boy, and yes. they were like four, three, and two. And um, the mom says the last thing she remembers, she reached back and wiggled the little toes of the little girl. And the next thing she knows, she's on the side of the road. Now, what happened was a semi came in and plowed into her. Oh, and unfortunately, all three babies mm. passed. Jeez. But the mom oh. and the grandma were still alive. And uh, one had a concussion and one had her ribs broken. But um, it, oh. they went through the whole story about how they dealt with you know, the situation. Because the husband was at work. So he gets a phone call. Anyway, but three months after it happened, she they decided to get pregnant again. And a year later to the day of when the accident came, she had triplets. Wow. She had two girls and a boy. Uh, isn't God good? Yes. 
it almost yes, replaced yes. the exam. Yes, it was comfort. Absolutely, wow. that was that was really cool. And then yeah. and then also I was watching. I love watching all these testimonies. I love it. But yes. another one is a man that was um, you know worked for Kenneth Copeland Ministries on his prayer team. Went outside one day, has a massive stroke. Mm. Um, they take him, you know, to the ER, of course. Yes. They did an MRI of his brain, and his whole left side of his brain was dead. Mm. And um, it, from there, he couldn't see, he couldn't, he couldn't, he didn't know anybody, he couldn't use his body at all. Right. And in nine days, the woman said, no, I lost my first husband to cancer. I am not losing my second husband. This is not going to happen. And she just got everybody together for prayer. But to make a long story short, he walks out in nine days. Mm with not one effect on him, not wow. one medical. So two That's months awesome. later now, the, the doctor's going, I, he, they're showing the doctor, I don't even know what to say about I this. Do. I This never should have happened. Right, right. Um, he, two months later, he said, you know, I asked him to do an MRI again because I wanted to see how yeah. his brain, his brain was still showing the dead on the whole left side. Hmm. He should not be able to use any of his left He's side functioning like or speak or anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a miracle. Oh, well, I would say yes, it is. Yes. But at the same time, when you understand who you are as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and your life truly giving life to the soul of man which is your mind mm -hmm. is your spirit your spirit always gives life to the soul so if you if you believe and remember mm. remember what Jesus said he said these signs will follow those who who, who are who believe, who believe. Mm -hmm. signs will follow those who believe so that is a sign even when you're not expecting it. Even when you're not expecting Well, most of the time, I mean, yes. It, it even, can I be. Mean, even when you're not yes. expecting it. Yeah. I mean, if you think of like some of the, like the Benny Hinn ministry and some of the miracles that do take place there, mm -hmm. and it's really unbelievers. A lot of unbelievers right, go to right. his, his ministry. Mm -hmm. And people are healed, delivered, set free. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely has to be a miracle because they're not saved. Right. In, in some cases. Right, you know, right, in a lot right. of cases. Mm -hmm. but, but now once you become a Christian, now you're a believer. Right. Now you have a power vested in you that's going to cause the laws of nature that are contrary to us. The kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Take what by force? What is rightfully ours. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And if we're lacking in physical and financial, whatever it may be, we need to use our faith to believe for those things. Right. You know, we're running out of time, I and I, I'm so sorry our show is so short. But we have a foundation scripture Pastor Burns has brought. Uh, do you happen to have it with you right now? Yes, I, I do, and we can we can use it from First Corinthians. 12. You can't miraculously just remember what it is. Or just <laughs> miraculous. No. Come on, so you're one, a pastor. One of the gifts of the Spirit is is the fact that it's still called the working of miracles. Exactly, right? the working of miracles. <laughs> yes. but it is a gift of the Spirit, and as as the Spirit wills for that individual's life. It just shows to me how much God loves people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shows how much He loves you, mm -hmm. and that's that's really what it is. First Corinthians twelve ten. Awesome. Oh, so you read that like it was you just speaking it. <laughs> he didn't. Oh, he, no, he didn't. He didn't even read it. He didn't read it. He said it. That's, I know. Yes. But see, that's an example of how the word's supposed to be in your heart. Like if someone yes. took his Bible away, he should know that anyway. So. Yes. No matter where you're attacked, and, uh, no matter if, where you're uh, right, challenged, but if, you'll have it in your in your. But heart. if all that's else correct. fails, yes. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Just Jesus say the name, name. Jesus, Jesus is the word. So you can, yes, the authority comes when Jesus' name is spoken. And think about it. Maybe when something like that happened where he had a stroke, he couldn't really say anything, but he probably it's could true. say Jesus. Yes. You know, not remembering a scripture, not just mm -hmm. say Jesus. I mean, well, this is exciting. Yeah. This is empowering. Yes. Do you know how much power you have? It's a miracle we got done on time, too. Yes. <laughs> we all have, Miracles. but all of us. I mean, we got so yes. much in this. Let's use it. It's yes. like, you know how they say our brain can handle this much, but we use this much of yes. it? Well, we've got so much we can use from the Word of God, yeah. from God, from the Spirit that lives inside of us. Yes. We need to start using it. That's right. Okay. Yes. Well, we got to go. Thank you so much for joining us from my heart, Julianne Hartman, Butch Hartman, and Pastor Burns to yours. This is Heart to Heart, and we will see you soon.